This video will show you how to create two special kinds of polylines in AutoCAD LT, rectangles and polygons. Let's start with the rectangle command. The rectangle command is located on the draw panel of the home tab. The simplest way to create a rectangle is to specify the location of opposite corners, but there are many other options as well. Before you pick the first point, you can specify a chamfer distance, or fillet radius, that will be applied to all corners. You can also specify the width, just like any other polyline. The elevation and thickness aren't important for 2D drafting, so we won't cover them here. After you've specified the first corner, different options appear, with more ways to define the size of the rectangle. Area enables you to specify an area and a length or width for the rectangle. For example, I can enter an area of 10 units and a length of 4 to create the rectangle. The Dimensions option asks for the length of both sides of the rectangle and then allows you to specify the final position. Finally, the rotation option enables you to specify the angle of one of the sides of the rectangle. After entering a value, say 30 degrees, you can either pick the opposite corner or use the area or dimensions option to define the final size. Polygons are closed polylines with equal length sides and angles. The polygon command is the easiest way to create equilateral triangles, squares, pentagons, hexagons, and so forth. The Polygon command is also available on the Draw panel of the Home tab. When you start the command, the first prompt is for the number of sides. In this case, let's use 6 to create a hexagon. Next, you can choose between defining the polygon by a center point and radius, or by the length of an edge. For example, I can use the Edge option and define a length of 2 units. Let's draw another polygon, this time a triangle. I'll select the center of the circle as my center point. I then have to choose whether I want the triangle to be inscribed in the circle or circumscribed around it. I'll choose inscribed this time, and you can see that the points of the triangle are touching the circle. For the next triangle, I'll start with the center of the other circle and use the Circumscribe option. Now, the sides of the triangle are tangent to the circle. Now you have seen how to create rectangles and polygons in AutoCAD LT. For more information on AutoCAD LT features and commands, please visit the LT homepage at www.autodesk.com slash AutoCAD LT.